the part two of the test, interact and as a pilot. Interacting as a pilot, in this part you have to interact with the air traffic controller in five different situations. You may ask the controller to say again once, um, after listening to the controller you should interact as the pilot and remember all information is important. Uh, you may take notes if you wish. Remember in our test um, the flight number is something like India Charlie Alpha 123 but in the real ANAC test it's always ANAC 123 for part two, interacting as a pilot. Okay, do you have any questions? So please can you um, put on the headset? Okay, um, you're ready to take off from Dubai's runway one two, um, listen to the controller and read back. American Airlines one two three cleared to take off runway one two after takeoff maintain runway heading and climb the flight level three six zero call departure on one one nine decimal zero. Do my tower, this is American Airlines one two three cleared to take off on runway one two after takeoff maintain runway heading and climb to flight level 360, contact departures on 119 decimal zero. So now imagine you have suffered a tail strike during takeoff. Inform the controller about the problem and request to return. And then listen to the controller and confirm if he understands. Dubai Tower, this is uh, American Airlines 123. Uh, we suffered a tail strike during takeoff and uh, I request to return and maintenance on the ground. Thank you very much. American Airlines 123, I understand you suffered a bird strike during takeoff and request to return. Negative Dubai Tower, this is American Airlines 123. Uh, we suffered a tail strike, not a bird strike, and we request to return. I'm sorry, what did the controller say, please? Uh, the controller said that we suffered a bird strike uh, uh, during our takeoff. Is that correct? That's incorrect. Uh, we suffered uh, a tail strike. Okay. Uh, tell me, how can a tail strike affect the aircraft? Well, uh, it can rupture the fuselage. Uh, it can twist the, the, the fuselage as well. Um, uh, it can just damage the aircraft. Okay, thank you very much. Let's move on to the next situation. Okay, um, you're on approach to Miami International Airport. Listen to the controller and read back. American Airlines 123, you are number two to land. Maintain present speed. I will call back for clearance in five minutes. Miami Tower, this is American Airlines 123. Number two to land, maintain present speed. Call back for clearance in five minutes. Thank you. Now imagine you lost your navigation system, inform the ATC about the problem, and request a visual approach. Then listen to the controller and see if he understands. Miami Tower, this is American Airlines 123. We've just lost our navigation system. Uh, we request a visual approach. Thank you. American Airlines 123, I understand you have a navigation system problem and request a visual approach. The visibility is below minimum here. I suggest you divert to your alternate airport. Roger, Miami Tower, this is American Airlines 123. Uh, you have a bad weather system there. Uh, we request to divert to our alternate. So what did the controller say? Uh, the controller said that he understood that we had a navigation problem and that we requested a visual approach, but he advised that there was uh, bad weather there, so uh, then I requested to divert. Was it correct? Well, they have bad weather, but the, the, the part that he confirmed about the navigation system failure was correct. Okay, thank you very much. Tell me, what navigation systems do you have on your aircraft, please? Uh, we have the GPS system, the inertia system, that's the, the majority of the ones that we have. And what do you think about the future of navigation systems? Well, I think that the GPS will probably get more accurate uh, in the future. I think most of the technology in the cockpit will become more uh, 
accurate as, as technology becomes better. Okay, let's move on to the next um, situation. Um, you're on approach to Miami International Airport, listen to the controller and read back. American Airlines 123, clear to land on runway 12, call ground on 129 decimal 1. Miami Ground, this is American Airlines 123, clear to land on runway 12, call ground on 129 decimal 10. Now imagine you're the pilot, your landing gear is jammed and it won't deploy. Inform the ATC about the problem and listen to the controller to see if he understands. Miami Tower, this is American Airlines 123. Uh, our landing gear is jammed that it won't deploy. Um, uh, I request uh, to go around to uh, check the aircraft. Now listen to the response, please. American Airlines 123, I understand you have a problem with your landing gear and request to divert. Please confirm. Negative, Miami Tower, this is American Airlines 123. I requested to go around due to landing gear failure. So what did he say, please, the controller? Uh, the controller said that uh, he, he understood that we have a landing gear problem, but he said that I requested to divert. Is that correct? That's incorrect. I requested to go around. Tell me, uh, what can cause a landing gear malfunction? Well, it, maybe there could be a problem with the pin uh, if it stays locked or a hydraulic failure. Okay, anything else please, Captain? Well, maybe uh, a bird strike could affect the landing gear if it was a, a large bird. Mm -hmm. And imagine you had a landing gear a malfunction during your flight, what would you do? Well, um, sometimes uh, it depends on the system, but I could uh, change the hydraulic system, I could uh, re uh, reroute the hydraulic system and maybe that could solve the problem. Or sometimes gravity can actually cause the landing gear to drop into the correct position. Okay, thank you very much. Um, let's move on to the next situation. Um, you've just taken off from Miami International. Listen to the controller and read back. Hey, Charlie Alpha 123, climb to flight level 400. Contact Miami Center on 118.70. Miami Center, this is India Charlie Alpha 123, climb to flight level 400 and contact Miami Center on 118.70. Okay, thank you. Um, now, imagine during your climb you have this situation, inform the air traffic controller and ask for attentions. Uh, Miami Center, this is India Charlie Alpha 123. Uh, we've just suffered a uh, severe uh, lightning strike and we request a return and maintenance on the ground. Well, let's listen to the controller. Hey, Charlie Alpha 123, I understand you suffered a hail strike and request a return to Miami. Please confirm. Miami Tower, this is India Charlie Alpha 123 negative. We suffered a lightning strike and we request to return. Sorry, what did the controller say? Uh, the controller said that we had a hail strike is that and correct? requested to return. No, that's incorrect. Why? Well, because we suffered a lightning strike. Okay, thank you. And let's talk about a lightning strike. Um, how can that um, cause a problem for the aircraft? Well, uh, you can have a short circuit um, which could damage the electronics, the avionics inside the, the cockpit, which could be dangerous. You could lose your GPS or you could lose any, any, any electronical system there. Anything else, Captain? Um, I suppose you, it, it could cause a rupture to the fuselage. Sometimes when the lightning strikes the aircraft, when it leaves the aircraft, sometimes it could cause uh, a rupture. Thank you very much, Captain. Now let's move on to the next situation. Um, you're climbing out from Sao Paulo. Listen to the controller and read back. India Charlie Alpha 123, climb and restrict to flight level 340 and contact the Power Center on 121 decimal 75. Sao Paulo Departures, this is India Charlie Alpha 123, climb unrestricted to flight level 340 and we'll contact center on 121 decimal 75. Please say again, Captain. 
India, uh, our sub tower, this is India Charlie Alpha 123, climb unrestricted to flight level 3 power 0, contact Sao Paulo Center on 121.75. Thank you very much. Now imagine during your flight, um, your, one of the flight crew has advised you that this has happened. Um, declare an emergency and inform the ATC, please. <clears throat> uh, Sao Paulo Center, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is India Charlie Alpha 123. We have a fire on board and we request to return immediately and priority to land and fire service on the ground. India Charlie Alpha 123, please confirm you are depressurization. Descend to flight level 120 and you are cleared to divert at your discretion. South Paulo Center, this is India Charlie Alpha 123, please say again. India Charlie Alpha 123, please confirm you have a depressurization. Descend to flight level 120 and you are cleared to divert at your discretion. Negative South Paulo, this is India Charlie Alpha 123. Uh, we had we have a fire on board and we request a return and we request uh, priority to land and fire service on the ground. What did the controller say please? Uh, the controller said that we had a depressurization and he told me to descend to flight level 120 and he said I was cleared to divert at my discretion. Is that correct? That's incorrect. Why? Because I had a fire on board. Okay, thank you. And tell me about um, training for fire on board? Well, um, we train in the simulator every year um, for situations like this, situations that we can't train for in, in a real aircraft because it's too dangerous. So we have training for fire on board, smoke on board, hydraulic failure, and things like that in the simulator. And what is the difference between having an emergency in the simulator and in a real situation? Well, actually, they're pretty much the same thing. Um, the aircraft operates the same way, uh, the simulator operates the same as the aircraft, but in a real aircraft, people's lives are in danger, it's a real situation, whereas um, in the simulator we can practice. If we make a mistake, we can do it again to make sure that we get better at, at procedure. Thank you very much, and um, that's the end of part two of the test.